Golden Carnivore in Thailand, welcome. Well, I know you stopped by for the Thailand tidbits, and I'm going to show you a little tidbit here of the nature that surrounds me every morning as I exercise in the pool. Hi, I'm in the pool, and I wanted to show a little something that I never knew. Growing up in Cincinnati, Ohio, palm trees weren't really on the list of things that we got to see a lot of. So I've got two palm trees here at the end of my pool. And I've noticed several times, and I'm gonna zoom in up here, that these long, straight shoots of wood just come up like big sticks that come out of the top of the palm tree. They just come out of the top, they go up like that. Those sticks <coughs> will stay there for several weeks or even a month. Now, here's a stick that was there yesterday and it was just a stick. But as I zoom in, from the, where the stick's coming out, and I zoom in, you see it's starting to open up and starting to unwrap that stick. And that is where it will come out and it will have the leaves on it. And the weight of the leaves growing bends the, the branch over and then you get the bent over branches. And when the branches bend over within a couple weeks, you'll start to see the progression of another stick. Now, for each stick that comes out, from what I can tell, if you look at the trunk of, of a palm tree, you see the trunk goes up and I hope you can see that it's got these rings on it. And this ring will, this layer will come off as new sticks are made. And the trunk gets thinner and thinner and thinner based on the layering of the trunk. And if you get real close, you can see that the layers eventually almost disappear, but you can still see the layers in there as you're looking up. And I look at this beautiful nature every day and just see how the plants grow and see how fast they grow. Uh, it's amazing. It really is. My grass out here I know I just removed this, but I wanted you to take a look. This is how low the grass is. Two days ago, there was no mushroom out there. And you can't see it now because Noy just took it. But she took a mushroom off that grass that grew in two days to bigger than the size of my fist. I mean, it was five inches in diameter and five inches tall. And that popped up in two days. Unbelievable. So, this is just a tidbit from Thailand here. And I wanna add this in because it's a little bit of nature as I walk around and show you a view from the pool. Let me zoom out here a little bit and I hope this takes care of it and I know some people say well that's not good enough exercise well let me tell you as you're walking you keep moving your arms back and forth under the water creating resistance it's more exercise than you think. And it seems to be working since 
I was lucky enough to lose two inches off my neck already. So, I have to admit that for the last couple of days, I've had trouble eating. I wake up in the morning, my stomach's a little bit upset. Sometimes I feel like it's upset to a point where I want to throw up, but I don't. And then I have some coffee, some water, and I come out and I do my exercise early in the morning. I usually don't eat till noon. Yesterday at noon, I had this wonderful scrambled eggs and, and grilled shrimp. And that's all it was, just scrambled eggs, grilled shrimp, put a little salt and pepper on it, uh, a little hot sauce too. Thank you, Frank's Red Hot. So, last night came time for dinner. I just really wasn't all that hungry. I didn't feel like eating. My stomach wasn't telling me to eat. So basically last night, to start out with, I didn't have a steak. Then later at night, it was getting late, but then my stomach says, yeah, I'd like to put a little something in it. And I didn't want to cook a steak that late and eat a steak that late. So I'll probably have that for lunch today. So I had a couple pieces of ham and a couple pieces of cheese rolled up into little ham and cheese rolls. Not a lot, just a little, enough to tell my stomach, look, you're going to bed pretty soon. You don't need any more than this. Be satisfied. So then I wake up in the morning, I got that same feeling in my stomach again. I don't know. I'm just telling you because if you decide to go on a carnivore journey and it happens to you, yeah, I would just want you to know you might not be alone. So the reason I'm doing this channel is twofold. Help other people and share my experiences and also document my own journey on film or on video so that I can see where I've been and how I'm progressing and put pressure on myself to keep progressing and to keep bettering my life because I'm having a wonderful life here. That's all, folks.